Hey everyone. Today, we're diving into two important machines used in metal processing, the slitting line and the cut-to-length line, also known as CTL. Even though both of these machines work with metal coils, they serve very different purposes and produce different results. So, let's break it down step by step. What is a slitting line? A slitting line takes a wide coil of metal and cuts it into narrower strips. The process begins with uncoiling the material, then it's fed through rotary knives that precisely cut the coil into strips. After that, each strip is rewound into its own smaller coil. This machine is perfect for industries that need narrower metal strips, like automotive manufacturing or electrical component production. What is a cut-to-length machine? On the other hand, a cut-to-length machine is used to convert metal coils into flat sheets. The process starts similarly, with the coil being uncoiled. Then, the material is leveled to ensure it's completely flat. Finally, it's cut into sheets of a specific length. This method is commonly used when manufacturing products like metal roofing, construction materials, or automotive body panels. Even though both of these machines work with metal coils, they serve very different purposes and produce different results. So, let's break it down step by step. Let's start with what each machine is used for. A slitting line is designed to take a wide coil of metal and cut it into narrower coils. Imagine a giant roll of metal being fed through a machine that has rotating knives, which slice it into narrower strips. Each of these strips can then be wound up into its own coil. On the other hand, a cut-to-length line is used to cut a coil into flat sheets or plates. Instead of making narrow coils, this machine uncoils the metal, flattens it, and cuts it into sheets of a specific length. So, while the slitting line makes narrower coils, the CTL line produces flat sheets. Let's talk about what you get at the end. A slitting line produces multiple narrower coils from one wide coil. So, you start with a big coil, and you end up with several smaller coils, all neatly wound up. A cut-to-length line, on the other hand, produces flat sheets or plates. So, at the end of this process, you have flat pieces of metal that are ready to be used in manufacturing. Where are these machines used? A slitting line is great when you need narrower strips of metal, like in the production of steel pipes, automotive parts, or products that are roll-formed into specific shapes. A cut-to-length line is used when you need flat sheets, like for car body panels, appliances, metal enclosures, or construction materials. Now, let's go over the process for each machine. For a slitting line. The coil is uncoiled. It's fed through the slitter, where the wide coil is cut into narrow strips. The narrow strips are then rewound into smaller coils. For a cut-to-length line. The coil is uncoiled. It's leveled to remove any curves or bends. The leveled sheet is then fed through a shear, which cuts it to a specific length. The cut sheets are then neatly stacked or packaged. In terms of material handling, each machine focuses on something different. A slitting line is all about precision when cutting the width of the material. You're managing multiple narrow strips, making sure they're all uniform. A cut-to-length line is focused on precision cutting the length of the material and making sure that the sheets are flat and properly stacked. So, to sum it up, both the slitting line and cut-to-length line start with a metal coil, but their end products are completely different. A slitting line creates narrow coils, while a CTL line creates flat sheets of metal. Depending on what your project needs, narrow strips or flat sheets, you'll use one of these machines. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, 
hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more metal processing insights.